Hey everybody, I'm Laura and you're watching Atomic News TV and happy polar vortex. It is butt effing cold out right now, okay? Here in Rockford, it got down to negative 25 last night and right now I think it's like negative 20. Um, it is really cold. So my husband and I figured we'd come outside and play with some things and see what happens when it's this cold. Um, everything in my, everything in Rockford is like closed right now. Okay. Even the movie theater is closed. My work closed. Um, my husband, bless his heart, tried to go to work, but the cars wouldn't even start. Like he went to go start them and they're like, no. Um, so we're going to try and blow some bubbles and see what happens to bubbles in extreme cold. All right. So I'm going to clip that video in now okay guys we are going to try and debunk the throwing hot water into the air and turning it into basically like snow dust so mr atomic is out here right now and he's going to do that all right babe go ahead i don't know what did it do i don't think it really did anything i don't think it did it looks like the drops hit the ice that had the snow on Okay, that sucked, okay? So I don't know what those people are doing different, but we just did hot water the same as everybody else. All right, we're gonna try and blow some bubbles now and see what happens to the bubbles when we blow those into the cold air. We'll be back with that in just a second. All right, so I'm back with my daughter's bubbles and they're already like freaking frozen on the outside. Um, let's see what happens, I'll blow some bubbles. Sucking, huh? I get a big fat F for this. Hold on, let me tilt the bubbles because we'll get low to the end. Look, right, right here, right here. Ah, there it is! I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's totally frozen on the snow. Okay, let's try another one. Oh, it keeps popping. It's so cold it pops. Hello? I'm like a master blower. It's freezing like right on the bubble yeah. wand. <laughs> no wonder I can't blow it. Here I am saying I'm a master blower. Good job, Laura. Yeah. Look at that, I couldn't even do it, it just froze. Like, okay, let's get close, can you see this? Look at yeah. the bubble wand. It's, it's frozen, look at that. I can't even blow it because it's frozen. Let me stick it back in there and see if it'll melt real quick. Okay, let's try it like it's not in the direction of the wind. Oh, there's one. Oh, it turned to ice. Did you get that? Yeah. It like broke and it turned to ice. Okay, let's try it again. That popped. No, it just popped. And it just whisked away and it turned to ice. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I hope you guys can see this. Boom, ice. And it landed right on the snow. <laughs> oh, the things we do. Oh, okay. Oh, we just got to, okay. Yeah, that's effing cold. I'm going to go hide in the covers after this next group of bubbles. Oh, okay, see, it froze. It didn't even blow. I couldn't even blow it. Boom, ice. And it's falling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Okay, so I'm back in my house and I am so cold, you guys. My fingers hurt just for that small amount of time that we were out there filming. So if you are in this polar vortex area, you need to listen to the warning. Stay indoors, okay? What we did was totally stupid. Um, my fingers and my toes hurt hurt. But as I go back and watch the footage, I can tell now um, that the hot water trick did in fact work. You have to look to the top left of your screen and you'll totally see it. It turns to snow dust. So it worked. Okay. So we gave it a shot. It worked. Um, as for the bubbles, it what I would, thought would happen actually did happen, but it's so hard to see a bubble against white snow. But if you, if you look... You have to look real hard, but it was really neat. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that. Um, 
happy polar vortex. <laughs> Until next time, peace out.